In this video, you'll learn how to change VM settings. Okay, if you open Visual Studio Code as an example and go to settings, as you see here, I can go to this JSON file right here and we have some settings that you can change for Visual Studio Code. And like Visual Studio Code or any other editor, so just change VM settings, you just need to go to this VM RC, which is located here, and you can just open that file and you can see that we have too many lines right here. The VMRC that I'm using can be different than the other ones. The link of this dot file, I will just put it in the description. Okay, let's just take a look at the description of the, the settings that we have here. We have that number and syntax enable. Okay, let's just try and comment that out. And if you see to comment a line within this dot file, I just use this code right here. Now I'm disabling this option right here. Okay, let's just save this file and open VMRC again. This file right here is not highlighted. Why? And I don't have this colors and all of this stuff and I just having some white text. And if I wanna just enable it again, I just need to remove that. Okay, I open that again. Syntax highlighting is enabled. And if I wanna just remove this numbers right here, let's just save that, save that again. Open it, line R, disable it. Okay, let's just enable it again. And you can go to any settings and all of that is used for Vim to add some features. Th there's a setting here, so for highlighting search, let's just search for set. The word set is highlighted because HL search enable it. But what if I disable it? Let's save that again, open the file and let's just search for set again you see nothing is highlighted. I don't have this background to highlight words. I just have the screws are moving to the top and moving to the next highlighted word. Let's just enable it again. Initial search, remove this comment right here, save it, let's just open it again, do a search, set. Now, as you see, the color now are highlighted. Super cool. And the other interesting thing about Vim is you can map keys. Okay, let's just go to the top. We have here mapping keys. What I mean by mapping keys? A control S is used in this line to save files. And this W, this colon W here means that I need to save any change. So if I add any change to this file right here, I had this comment. Once I hit control S, it will save the file without even typing this colon and W, okay? And I can map anything I want. And for this node three toggle, so you can see, so if I just use control E, it will just toggle a plugin that I already installed and it will show you how to install it. If I just type control Z, as you see here, I will move from the file to the sidebar. Okay, if I open a file, I can move to the sidebar by using control Z. If I want to close it, I will use control A. And I, I map these keys from VMRC. You can use any other key. So depending on how you want to use them. And let's just close all of that and open this folder, open index all this HTML and open the sidebar, open services, and let's just open portfolio. And I have another key that I mapped, control A to go to the previous tab and control B to go to the next tab. Let's just take a look on how it's located. Okay, let's just go to VMRC. This previous and this previous and next, this is control E and this is control B. And this is how I can use tab navigation. I can map any key, but this B previous and the B next, they are bundles install it and I'll show you how to install them. And I have some interesting settings that you can take a look at this file and just try to find them. This is for tab index, tab index. So how tab key equal two spaces. So it depends on how you want to use them, maybe three, maybe four. And this is the interesting thing about Vim. It's bundle, what is exactly bundle? Let's just go to GitHub and find this bundle. Bundle is for installing bundles. Okay, bundles. Bundle is like extension. Okay, let's just open Visual Studio Code to compare that. So this extension right here that we install, they are like bundles for Vim. Okay, 
let's just take a look to bundle and how to install it. And to install it is very simple. You just need to copy this line right here, this git repository, just clone it in this folder. But once you add this line or once you clone the repo, you just need to add this line within your VMRC. And as you see, I have this bundles right here and they have multiple repos and the bundles, bundles are like repos and you can install them. And you see here, I have nerd tree, a match, match tag, and multiple ones that you can use within Vim and it will make it just super cool. And if you want to just install a plugin, once you add any plugin you want, so in this case, once you add nerd tree and you want to install it, you just need to copy that or to, to write it and type plugin install and she will just plugin install and she will install the plugins which will go bundle by bundle and install them done quit that and all the vendors are installed if you want to check a look on where these vendors are installed or where these bundles are installed you can go here to cd bim bundles and this is where i install